What is the meaning of life? It's a big question. A lot of people spend their entire lives not knowing what it is. And I recently had an experience that made me really question, what is the meaning of life? So I remember talking about this in other videos, but sometimes I lock myself in my closet because of not of the pain that other people gave me, like telling me that I'm a burden or I don't want to talk to you. Not, not, not exactly that pain, not exactly those voices. It's the voices in here that affect me the most. And so I'll lock myself in my closet because it's the closest thing that I have to a padded room. No sound, no vision, no smell or taste. The only touch I have is of the wooden floor and my clothes hanging in the, the closet. And I recently had an experience where I wrapped a electric, not electric, oh, a um, extension cord around the top rack, brought it around my neck. And I pondered to myself, I was thinking, should I? What do I have to live for? The one person who I thought mattered to me just... said some very insensitive things. And if it wasn't for the voices in here, then I wouldn't have cared. So I stood there, wondering, thinking to myself, what is the meaning of life? Why am I alive? Not a single person... Not a single person has given me an answer for that. And I can't spew some bullshit like, Oh, I'm alive for this. This channel. Spreading hope and love and coping. And all that bullshit. When in reality, nobody actually watches my shit. <laughs> and I legitimately wonder to myself, this is going nowhere. College is going nowhere. Uh, <laughs> working out is going nowhere. Talking to people is going nowhere. So what is the point? Why do I even bother anymore? And I wonder that to myself. I keep asking myself, what is the point? If me standing here in this closet, in that closet right over there, wrapping a bungee cord or a... Whatever the hell they're called. I, extension cord. Was it an extension cord? I, I don't know what the fuck the terminology is. Regardless, I just... When I take that cord and I wrap it around my neck, there's this feeling of peace. Finally, I have a way out. And I pussy out, because I don't even have the strength to kill myself. I don't know what this video is. What is the meaning of life? What is it, honestly? You know, when I think about it, there is this concept that I learned about when I was in the mental hospital. They talk about how you experience reality in a subjective way as in comparison to other people. And me, it's a lot more obvious. <clears throat> Hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, anxiety, depression, OCD, all of that. All of that affects my version of reality. And there's nothing that can say that, there's nothing anyone can say that can change Oh, that can match my reality with another person because it's individual, it's subjective. Sorry, there's a lot of helicopters outside. There's nothing you can do to ensure that your experience of life is the same as another person's. And I think that sometimes I can make life feel very lonely. You may go through the same things as someone, but you'll never be able to know what it was really like to experience that from their point of view their situation, the people around them, their experiences, like I said, you'll never be able to know because you are a different person than them. You are a completely different being. And in reality, I mean, who's to say that there isn't just one consciousness? Now, let, let, let me talk about that. So in the mental hospital, they talked about, obviously, they talked about subjective reality, but there's also, something that came to my mind when I was thinking about it, I was thinking, hmm, okay, what if I'm God? And I've had those delusions of grandeur before where I legitimately thought I was God. But I'm not talking about a delusion right now. I'm talking about you know, a theory. Could be a delusion now that I think about it. But what if there's only one consciousness? What if 
there was a being so immensely powerful and lonely because it was the only being in a world that it couldn't even understand. There was one being. And that one being spread its consciousness throughout the entire world, throughout a universe that it created. And what if that one being is the collective mind of all life? What if that one being transferred its consciousness into, not, not, not into different, what I'm trying to say is, what if I am, I really am God, and you are God, and everybody else is God? Who's to say that this subjective reality wasn't created for the very fact that it's, the world is a lonely place? I may sound like a crazy person. That's what they told me in the mental hospital. That's why they locked me in a, in a padded room. They thought I was a crazy person. It's not fun. But I don't know if I lost you. Probably lost you. Or is anybody even watching this? I doubt it. <sighs> so yeah. What is the meaning of life? Because I can say that, oh, this is the meaning of life. This whole channel, these videos, these... Little rants I go on, that's the meaning of life because I help people through my experiences and talking about my subjective reality. But in, in reality, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. So what's the point? And I find that that's a very sad concept to wrap your mind around. But that's just where my mind is right now. I mean... Wrapping a cord around my neck, whether it would be a bungee cord, an extension cord, or whatever I said it was, I fucking forget. That's a big problem for me. I forget a lot of things. But whatever it may be. Do I really want to opt out now? Do I? Will it be worth it? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me.